which is in front of the listing. What is the correct answer of question number one? Anyone who can tell me the correct answer for question number one? Gagan, Priyanka, anyone who can tell me the answers. The correct answer for this question is option number D, which is equal to 8 by 3. Now, let's see. Like I told you all earlier also in the classes, always make a habit of drawing a diagram whenever you are solving any time for this. It says, at his usual rowing rate, Rahul can travel 12 miles downstream in a certain river. Okay. In 6 hours less than it takes him to travel the same distance upstream. So what is given here in this case? The first case, it says that the time upstream minus time downstream. Or I can say that is basically the time downstream. The downstream time minus upstream time. Which, in which case you will be getting more time upstream or downstream. Definitely in upstream you will be taking more time. So I can say time upstream minus time time downstream. That is given to us as 6 hours. Okay. And the total distance traveled is 12. So I can say time is equal to distance upon speed. So 12 upon speed. What is the speed upstream? Speed upstream is equal to nothing. But that I can say B plus R or B minus R. What is distance upstream? The upstream distance is, is it B plus R or B minus R? Am I audible? If yes, please respond. What is time upstream time? That is B minus R. So I can say that is equal to B minus R. And the time downstream, that is with the flow of a river, that is 12 upon B plus R. And this value, it is given to us as 6. Okay. Now, the another equation, but if you could double his usual rowing rate for 24 miles on time, if he is doubling his speed, Okay, so I can say that is equal to 12 upon 2b minus r. Okay, 12 upon 2b minus r minus 12 upon 2b plus r. And the time taken is nothing but 1 hour less. So this is equal to 1 hour less. And I need to find out the speed of current means I need to find out r. Now what should be the way? Now, at times if you see this equation, so it think that it is a very difficult equation, but no. Simply simplify. From the first equation, what will I get here? If you simplify the first equation from here, I'll get 12b plus 12r minus 12b plus 12. So that way it will be equal to 24r, which is equal to 6 into b square minus r square. Any doubts to anyone? Yes or no? Or further you can simplify this. This is nothing but basically 4r is equal to b square minus r square. Similarly, from the second equation, take care. If you Take the LCM and simplify this 12, 2 are 24B and here minus 24B it will get cancelled. So I said 24B R plus 24, 12R plus 12R that is 24R. So 24R that is equal to nothing but that is equal to 2B whole square that is 4B square minus R square. Now the question here is what are we supposed to identify? Whether we need to identify the speed of the river or speed of the boat? Of course, I need to identify the speed of the river. So if I need to find out the speed of the river, so from the first equation, substitute the value of b square in the second equation. Yes or no? And what is b square? b square is equal to nothing but 4r plus r square. All right. So from the first equation, substitute the values in the second equation. And then you can find out the answers here. All right. Or the other way is nothing but uh, yes. So simply simplify the first and the second equations and you'll get your answers, all of you. So can anyone tell me if we solve the first equations and the second equations? I'm just writing it down. Okay. So from here, this implies 24R, it is equal to substitute the value of B square from the first to the second. So b square is equal to, I can say 4, b square is equal to 4r plus r square, alright, minus r square. So this will give me 24r, which is equal to 16r plus 4r square minus r square, that is plus 3r square. So from here you can see that is equal to 8r, which is equal to 3r square. So this implies 8, it is equal to 3r, so this implies r is equal to 8 by 3. So speed of river is nothing but that is 8 by 3 and that is the answer. So any doubts to anyone now? Sandeep, Uma Shankar, Gagan, Priyanka, Puneet, anyone? No. So can we move to the next question if this is clear to all of you? 
So at, in the beginning, it seems that, okay, this, there is going to be a very lengthy calculation, but no, there is no calculation at all. Most of the terms will get cancelled easily. Okay. Let's move to question number two.